Well, here's some more interesting battery charger news. For those, <laughs> this is a bit nerdy, isn't it? It really is, but I need to understand how this works. I'm thinking of doing something with a battery charger. Um, I'm making one that's uh, not the m the most intelligent battery chargers in the world. I'm going to make mine the most intelligent battery charger in the world. Let's face it, it's not rocket science, and these guys are miles behind in the other technologies that are about. So, yeah, I fancy designing my own, and uh, it's a big market. And clear and obvious choice is a good way of selling stuff. So, anyway, look, I've um, thought this through, and now we've got a situation where I thought, well, let's go for a halfway house. Let's make it so that the load can only take half an amp so when this uh, battery charger tries to pump, pump some voltage uh, across the terminals and drive some current in the load will only take half an amp it says look you can't give me five amps i'm just going to act as a half amp load so therefore the battery impedance is a bit iffy so uh yeah so where have we got let's get the scope up scopey that's ready to go and once again to reiterate we're going through Oh, that bit there, I presume. Yeah, this. The desulfation mode, right? The 12 volt battery. So this is what it thinks a sulfated battery is. It thinks a sulfated battery has got a low terminal voltage below 4 volts, which is nonsense because it can be sulfated at any terminal voltage. So the detection of desulfonation is wrong um, because a battery that's capacity is really lacking is not um, going to show or run this is an extremely bad battery but you know you have to do something with little flashy lights just to make the punters can you know convince that something's happening i think so let's load the test and i'll just explain to you what it does and then we'll quickly run it and i don't want to waste any more of your time because you've probably got things to do as do i so the simulation is that one and so we're starting at one volt working up to six volts with a current of half amp so it can only sink half an amp current okay so let's see what happens and again, I want to turn the whole thing off because give it the best chance of working because it does funny things sometimes. Right, battery clamp is off. Power to the charger is on. And we have a flashy light. Not a flashy light, actually. Sometimes that flashes and sometimes it doesn't when it's disconnected. Any any ideas? I have to look in the, in the instructions. RTFM. Right, I'm going to run the test. Okay, I'll what battery clamp goes on now. All right, so we've still got a glowing number seven, which is not good. But you can see the current building up down here, and it's climbing, sorry, the voltage building up. Um, got kept my, it was late last night, and I had a few glasses of wine, got my volts and my amps mixed up a couple of times. Did you notice? Um, so we got up to 1.2, and nothing happening. And I don't think it happened, anything happens to 1.8 or 2 volts. So at the moment, it's showing nothing connected, even though there is a battery connected. It says, I'm not going to acknowledge you, because your voltage isn't high enough. So we're coming up to the... Uh, the butter zone. There uh, we go, 1.6. Ah, oh, there we go. So, and look, we're in sulfonation. We've got the sulfonation light to stay on, and yet there's nothing on the scope. Why is there nothing on the scope? Is there no current being flowed up this thing? Rash curious, isn't it? I think the scope's gone funny. Dot com. Oh, it's curious. Very curious indeed. You can see the pulses are happening here, and it's in sulfonation because the sulfonation light is on, or desulfation light is flashing. So you're getting a flashy number one light, but we're getting no current flowing in the battery, which clearly is not true because we are. So something has gone a bit doodally with this. I'm not sure. Oh, there you are. Some pulses. We're not triggering right, are we? That's the thing, I think. I think I need to slow the time base down to 100 milliseconds. Okay. And now it's gone into full whack mode. Let's put it to 200 milliseconds. So now we're gone into, if, you, if I move it out of the way, you can see we went straight into the the full tilt there so let's just do that again I'm not gonna bother chopping and changing this video about I'm just gonna do it again and you'll have to wait because it is that it is it is that exciting 
don't you think? There we go. So load the test. Uh, simulation mode. Turn the battery charger off. Remove the clip. Wait a while. Turn the battery charger on. I've got no battery. I've got no battery. I've got a flashy light. That's seven lights. Not that bright to the human eye, but you can see it. You certainly see it in the, dil in the dim room. Put, uh, sorry, run the test and then put the battery charger on. Well, there we go. So here we go again. This is going to work this time. We're all about different time scales to what we're used to. Nothing happening. Talk amongst yourselves. Just a straightforward blank trace. Oh, come on. Now, if you're too excited at this stage, you might take some, do some breathing exercises, or you could breathe into a paper bag to stop you hyperventilating. Might be an idea. Do you think? Um, right here we go. So, is this going to go into desulfation mode? Number one. Yes, we've got a flashy white light. Number one light, and that's what we're getting. We're getting that. We're getting a pulse, and that's it. And the eight, the pulse is 120 milliseconds long and it's uh we're on 10 amp range so we are on yeah that's 1.5 amps okay so it's flashing in 1.5 amps for uh 100 milliseconds and it is if i just slow that down to 500 milliseconds you should be able to see the whole whiz bang there you go so that's one two three four five that's every two and a half seconds is putting a 500 millisecond pulse of current into the battery trying to make it recover right so that's with the number one light flashy flashy and when it gets to a certain voltage you can see this will start to rise on the current trace and we should go into full charge mode which is the bulk soft start which isn't soft start it's a ragged horrible brutal start it's, I should re rename the manual <laughs> but you know they can say anything because who knows what really um, it's the name that, uh, so I've gone into number two we're got number two light on number two light now is uh we're charging at three point sorry 4.9 amps so that's re that's where your five amps comes from at very low voltages so as soon as the desulfation gets you to three volts it just takes off with the charge which really i dare say there's various patents being thrown in for this uh i saw at the end of the uh the leaf there's a whole list of patents but you know a paint's like a leaky bucket as soon as you it's not you don't know it's any good or even relevant until it actually gets challenged by somebody so um yeah there you go so it's it's going to go into the normal charge phase again so that's how you get the stage one it's a sort of a battery with a very low terminal voltage less than three and a half volts uh that hasn't got the ability to conduct very much current and at the moment we were for 0.5 amps so I wonder whether yesterday's test was actually desulfation or whether it was just trying to start up. Because we're in bulk charge now. Do you want to see it go through, if I put another step in we can go to th three, is four analyze? A four, the analyze, four, number four, number four. Yeah, no, five is analyze, so four is absorption. That's the declining current phase, isn't it? So we saw all that yesterday. But anyway, but will the lights track? I want to see if those. I haven't actually seen those lights track properly yet. So let's just try that, shall we? Let's just stop this test. Stop the test. Our test is complete anyway. Uh, let's go back into the file and add another line, and we'll call this. Uh, we'll call this. I'm guessing we'll call this bulk bulk will go from and it was 3.4 we'll go from 4 volts on bulk and we'll go up to uh, uh, what does it say on the instructions that's a good point read the RTFM um, increasing voltage to 12.6 so the soft start that's not soft start that's soft start which is a hard start uh, it's gonna be um, so we'll end that one at 4 and we'll take over the soft start of 4 and we'll go up to 12.6 as it says there 12.6 and then the current will um, on this part we're going to allow it a bit more current so we're going to put uh, 5 amps duration we're going to make it quick we're going to make that one uh, over in a minute 
and this one over in a minute and we'll do a test every thousand milliseconds and delta V back will be minus 0.3 again that's just the battery simulator voltage so I'll start and then we'll go for bulk bulk so bulk will go from 12.6 now if this uh, manual is right then the light should track shouldn't they so bulk we from I bet they haven't even tested it to this degree themselves um, 12.6 to and it says 14.4 it will decline I oh, know for increasing to 14.4 all right so it's a 12.6 to 14.4 current 5 amps and we'll have another minute thousand and minus 0.3 it's a few minutes of your life wasted and then at the end we'll have um, analyze um, now analyze is an interesting one because it doesn't seem to very do very much in that so an analyze we're just going to go to see if we, let's see if we can get the analyze light on uh, drops check if voltage drops to 12 volts all right so we're going to drop our voltage to uh, from 14.4 we'll simulate the battery uh, going down so it's going 14.4 to what does it say 12 volts so we'll go to 11.9 just to allow for an error because the, the voltage me reading on this thing isn't I'm accurate but it isn't it's just a couple of 1% uh, resistors and a resistor chain so their voltage limit is plus or minus uh, probably up to 2% actually uh, of the actual reading and that's without the error in the A to D inside the microprocessor so another duration we have another duration of 60 mm. it's getting long this test isn't it let's make all these um, 50 50 50 and then we'll go uh, uh, we're doing the analyze so we're going to go for both have got 12 volts that's fine 11.9 we're going to go um, I think just over 20 seconds don't you and then 20 readings going down a rim delta V back minus 0.3 right okay so presumably when it gets to analyze it will turn the power off and watch the ba battery voltage drop reconditioning we're not doing today and then we've got floaty floaty is 13.6 volts at 8 amps I oh, know 13.65 at 5 amps so we're going to call that one float in fact if we start off at um, we'll call that one float shall we <laughs> uh, float 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 8.8 .8 amps 5 13.6 so 11.9 so we're going to go up to 13.6 quite quickly I think so we'll start 11.9 to be consistent and we'll go to 13.6 current 5 amps duration 20 1000 minus 0.3 uh, and then pulse at the end and that pulse is supposed to represent I know what that is that's just representing it stepping and recharging um, we can simulate a load I suppose but let's do it on another test shall we um, yeah so let's run this and see where we go save we'll call it um, hold on we'll call this one a different one ah. save as uh, C tech simulation complete simulating a desulfonated a sulfated battery starting up from being dead to have a miraculous a miraculous miraculous recovery this is going to be this is the first time a <laughs> sulfated battery has ever recovered in the history of the universe and if I'm uh, wrong show me some proof <laughs> uh, so let's uh, stop it and we'll run it and we'll load the test simulation complete and there it is and then turn her off to give her the best honest appraisal take the battery clamp off turn her back on with the flickering complete light but not truly flickering and we go we're gonna three two one we're gonna run test is running boys but it's going much faster than before so let's get the scope out nothing going on no pulsey pulsey yet 
So this is the high impedance desulfation simulation. So there we have the desulfation going on. Look at that. Because it came up so quick, it went straight into the charge mode. So we didn't really see the desulfation, desulfation light. It does that sometimes. But we saw it on the last test, so you don't have to lose any sleep over that. So we're going up to bulk number two. We're in... Um, we're still in the high Z actually, because last time we didn't switch to charge until 4 volts, did it? Which is curious actually. Very strange indeed. Anyway, I'm not going to start it again. So now look, the current, uh, the voltage is now increasing. We're on iron soft start mode. So we're delivering 4.97 amps up to 12.6 volts, which is what it said in the instructions. You can see the voltage is now up to 6.58. And we're rocketing up and we should get that should end at 12.6 and then from 12.6 to 14.4 it should have the bulk charge what does it say about the bulk charge on there yeah so increasing voltage to 14.4 and down at 0.8 amps i know 0.5 amps so increasing to 14.7 at 0.5 amps okay that's all right Um, yeah, still got a way to go. But you can see the charge profile. It has dropped the current slightly to 4.57 amps, so it has reduced. So it's running, it's tailing off the current, and we're in the bulk section still, up to 14.4. So we've got a way to go on this yet. In the bulk section, it says, uh, increasing voltage to 14.7 I'm not sure if it's 0.5 or 5 amps we'll see okay we're at 14 with 13.8 so it's tailing off a bit too early actually because the current's gone down to, to 0 0.7 0 0.6 0 0.27 0 0.14 so it's finishing early it's finishing at 14 volts it's finished so it's about 0.4 a volt out so that isn't a full charge so that the, the uh, manual is wrong the voltages don't work so we dropped down, we were doing the analyze, and we dropped down to, and it just came back on, we dropped down to 12.6, and it went straight back in, so it checked that the voltage did go down, so that's our analysis, is just checking the voltage has gone down. And then it's coming in with the float charge, which is supposed to be, going. we're going up to 13.6. So at 13.6, it's just going to be... I don't think it's going to tail off, is it? Well, there you go. So, yeah, we got the... What did we get? We got one, we got one, two, three, and four. We got one, two, three, and four. So we got up to absorption. The analyzed light didn't come on, so it didn't like the analyzed, but I've only seen it come on once, and that it didn't even come on when I charged my battery. And I, I thought maybe when the analyzed light doesn't come on, it means that the battery is not very healthy, but there's no mention of that anywhere. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? But the sulfation is hit and miss. It starts up and carries sulfate, desulfating sometimes, and other times it doesn't. You can see on this run, it didn't. It was quite different to the last run. But there you go. So that's... Um, I'm not sure what I proved there, but anyway that's it for this i'm not doing any more on this battery charger unless i get a specific interesting question so i hope you like that and if you can subscribe to the uh, subscribe button down the right hand side of the screen down here that would be pretty useful and that's me signing off